it, it matches, matches though. I always wear an apron. I should probably put my apron on. And they're the nicest aprons because they're double thickness thick. Yeah. Uh, they sort of cover the territory. We heard yesterday that the newest game is yeah. when a bunch of young people go out for dinner, they stack their, their phones up in the Am I being recorded? No. And um, the first person who gives in to grabbing their phone it's pays the bill for everybody. Yeah. I thought that was brilliant. We came in 1981. That was about 10 years into the history of Regent. And, uh, and we kept hearing complaints about the good old days at Regent. And we always hated it when people said things like the good old days, as if, you know, that they were lost and gone and there was no redeeming them and nobody could do anything about it. And that has always come through as a direct challenge. Because if people say something can't be done, we always decide, well, yes, it can. Let's figure out how to do it. But I think what people were longing for then, as they long for now, is a sense of genuine community. And, and food provides that. We decided we'd have um, soup. I don't think it was every day. I think we just did it once that first we, year. Right? I think we did it. It was three weeks long. We and I think every, we did it the week. last weekend. I'm yeah. not sure. Anyway. But we, we had chicken soup with rice. There's this wonderful Morris Sendak little booklet. And so Lauren stood on a chair and started reading. Um, Shall I read it? You don't need to read the whole book, but. I need the whole thing. It's not that long. In January, it's so nice while slipping on the sliding ice to sip hot chicken soup with rice. Sipping once, sipping twice, sipping chicken soup with rice. In June, I saw a charming group of roses all begin to droop. I pepped them up with chicken soup. Sprinkle once, sprinkle, sprinkle twice, twice, sprinkle, sprinkle chicken, chicken soup, soup with rice. rice. I told you once, I told you twice, all seasons of the year are nice for eating chicken soup with rice. So that accompanied <laughs> the, the first uh, chicken soup at Regent, the first soup, soup group at Regent. <laughs> Yeah, after that, doing it in interterm, the first year, then the next year, I think we started doing it after chapel, every Tuesday. Soup is something where everybody is joined together as a community automatically, by default, by the fact that you're eating a soup out of a single pot. The combination of flavors in a good soup, it's almost like the combination of flavors in a good community. Soup is almost a metaphor for community. Uh, I think as human beings, we're most happy when we're sitting facing other people and having conversations. And so you have this, this soup bowl that is already uh, taken from a soup pot, which all of us share, and we're sharing also conversations in ourselves. An animal is oriented to look at its food. We're oriented to look at each other as we eat, not, not at our food. There's these few people, these T TAs, and then the different volunteers from the different groups that help out every week. They're doing something, they're creating something, they're giving part of their lives to this hard and very intense work of creating a soup by a certain time for the rest of Regent. And that sense of self-giving, it's at the heart of kenosis, it's the giving of ourselves. And, you know, that's why for us the, the statement in the end of... Uh, John, where Jesus says, come and have breakfast, the, the sense that even Jesus himself created meals for people, and, the, and those meals were bondings for him. In that case, it became a bonding with these quite desperate and discouraged disciples for whom everything had gone wrong because he had died, and then to meet him in a meal was wonderful. And then, the, what's often left out of that, while they were there, they have this discussion about do you love me? And if you love me, feed my sheep. And so there we have a communal uh, partaking of a meal together, which Jesus cooked the fish, but he also asked them for more fish. So there's this great um, 
you know, back and forth, host and guest, and host and guest having the same root gives resonance to the whole idea. You have that um, coming together with, okay, what do we do about the world? Um, what, how are you going to carry my message? Well, you feed my sheep. Uh, you love me, you love each other and feed my sheep. And the, anyway, it's just uh, a, a soup pot just has resonances all over the place. <laughs> change has to take place. They've got to start serving crunchy peanut butter with the bread. Crunchy peanut butter? They only serve smooth peanut oh, butter. Yeah. And uh, but you know, you can't have can't have paradise immediately, I guess. <laughs>